Okay, so here is a, another type of pixel failure. So here, all the pixels, for the most part, are working. You just have this one who isn't quite playing along. You see that red is okay, and blue is not. I would imagine it's probably green is okay as well. It's just that we lost blue. Okay, so in this case, with this type of pixel failure, we just need to deal with this one pixel. Now I can, now in this particular string, this is a string of 50. I'm just going to get rid of it and make it a string of 49. Uh, I put these into my 24 inch snowflakes, which take 48 pixels anyway. So I just need to mark it and make sure I remember that this one's 49 pixels so that everything adds up. So I just account for it in the modeling. So uh, we'll just snap this guy up real quick and we'll show that it's working. So when it when this happens, I didn't even rip this down. All I did is I went to the snowflake and I put some electrical tape over it so you couldn't see it anymore. And that was it. I think you can actually even go in and model it, but I was even lazier than that. So we'll fix him up real quick. Okay, so these pixels are three wire pixels. That's the case with almost all pixels. I'm going to clamp them in here and make it a little easier for myself. Alright, so this one I only need to replace this one pixel. So, give myself a pair of wire cutters. And um, the order does matter. So let's just take a quick look right now. What I'm going to do is move this little arm over to here. Alright, so nobody's twists. And on this side, on top, I have ground. And on this side, on top, I have ground. Okay, so as long as I don't mix up the wires, I'll be good. And of course the middle wire is always the data. So I'm just going to cut him out. See that? He's out. Now I just come along and separate these guys a little bit. I'm not even going to strip them. Just... Now you could come in here with heat shrink and solder and all that. But I've been liking these little scotch locks. Yeah, this might be easier to do without the stand. Okay. Push you all the way up. And now the other one came out. Okay. Just making sure I really do have the center wire from both. Okay, there it goes all the way up there. Give him a quick crimp. That doesn't take a lot of pressure. Okay. Now I take the bottom wire for both. Get another scotch lock. And I believe these are the 12 volt side. Again, we just need to make sure the things go with the things. Now if you were replacing another pixel, you would do this twice and just put a pixel in. I don't care. I'm just going to leave it be one sh light shorter. Squish it. See all that grease popping out? That is water resistant goodness. All right, and one more. This is for ground. Whoops. Should make sure they get all the way up there. Which she is. Get the little crimper and. 
it's a very satisfying feeling when they uh, when they collapse the little scotch locks see now I got my little scotch locks again looks like little bugs laid eggs or something on the string and now we'll go plug it in and make sure everything works so there it is we have popped out that bad pixel and you know the only thing I need to do and I'll mark this string is that this is now a 49 bulb string instead of 50 now if you had a bad string that you had been dealing with before and you have some extra bulbs you could always drop one in there um, I'm about easy so I just do it the easy way I just cut it out and then when I use this string in the future I'll just remember it's a string of 49 not 50